so hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be uh, discussing about uh, saply summary plot so as you see here like this is how it looks like so today i uh, will be going in uh, depth like uh, what this x axis tells you and what is this uh, uh, bar line telling you and uh, what about this feature list and how about to interpret this distribution of individual features okay so for that uh, what i'm going to do basically i'm going to uh, build the xgboost model and for that model uh, i will be explaining like what are the important features and how to interpret those with the help of saply summary plot okay so let's uh, start from the beginning like uh, so here so let me start the kernel so that uh, it will clear, restart and clear all the output so that we can run it uh, the, the code freshly okay so again here uh, so i'm not going to invest much time on model building because i'm assuming you already know how to build the model how to train the xgboost model and then uh, i will directly jump to the uh, saply summary plot to understand that more okay so here uh, so let's uh, quickly go through this so this is just uh, preparing your uh, data set so this is that method and here i'm just using the glass data and these are the features for that glass so let me run this and show you like how this data looks like so this is these are the like uh, glass properties and based on that we want to uh, predict whether it is a window based glass and non window based glass okay based on these properties so that's the day that's how your data looks like and then um, we have a class like a string variable so that's where we need to label encode this class into one and zero so let's do that one quickly and uh, yeah and then we are quickly doing trend test split and uh, in the next part uh, will be a, a creating a model xgboost model okay so here i'm building a very basic model not uh, doing a much of hyper parameter tuning so because that's not the agenda for today's uh, session so you can do that later so let me quickly create a basic model so it it is already giving a 90% accuracy that's good enough and then here uh, from here let's start understanding what is sap and saply values okay so uh, i have created an another video uh, where i have explained like in detail like what are the saply values so saply values are nothing but basically uh, in case of xgboost those are the log of odds and uh, log of odds are directly uh, proportional to the probability values so uh, as log of odds increases it increases the probability of being in a particular class so here in our case it is a positive class that is a window based uh, glass okay so that's how you can interpret the saply value but in more detail you can uh, go through that video and here uh, so what uh, it so to generate the saply explanation we need the model and the uh, data set so here i'm just uh, passing the model and uh, training data and inside that uh, we are importing sap so you need to install the pip install sap so that it is available for you and then sap.init.js what it will do basically it will just uh, initialize the javascript within your notebook so that we can uh, visualize the summary plot within the notebook okay so for that uh, synthetic purpose and now here using sap.tree explainer uh, you uh, just pass the model it will create the explainer and with that help of that explainer you can calculate the saply values for your data set okay so uh, let me uh, run this part as well and then show you like how this saply values uh, uh, looks like okay as i said these are uh, nothing but uh, the log of odds in case of uh, uh, xgboost model so now here if you see like i'm just uh, printing the saply values for uh, first record so these uh, this is how they look like basically okay and if i just uh, remove this indexing then it will uh, print the uh, like array of list list of array basically okay so here uh, the first uh, this is uh, denoting for first record and this is uh, for second record and this is for third record and likewise so these are the saply values so let me uh, simply print for first so that uh, you can easily understand it and now let me print the summary plot and then explain like each and every nitty gritty detail of summary plot so that's the main agenda for today's session okay so now it, this is how it looks like so we have a model and now with the ai explainability coming in pictures what uh, is our uh, agenda so we want to understand okay what is the model is predicting so uh, what is the reasoning behind what are the important feature which are impacting the uh, model predictive power okay so now what saply summary plot does basically it uh, sort the uh, features based on their impact or based on their importance on the predictive power so here you see like it has sorted uh, and kept uh, magnesium as the very top because it has a very high impact on the predictive power so as you see here so let me explain like what this x axis looks like what is this bar line denoting so in x axis we are putting um, the uh, log of odds value and the more log of so log of odds varies between minus infinity to plus infinity so the more log of odds the more probability of belonging to class 1 
Okay, so this region is belonging to class one, and this region belonging to class zero. Of course, as probability decrease means log of odd is decreasing, then it will uh, not belong to uh, class one. It means it will belong to other class. So that is zero class means non-window based class, right? So that's fair enough. So now uh, these are the log of odds, and then in this is a feature value. So red means like uh, the high feature value in terms of numerical value, and uh, this dark blue means like uh, low feature value in terms of their numerical value. So one more point, uh, guys. Here, here in today's session, I have taken intentionally all features as a numerical value because concept slightly vary when we go to uh, categorical variables. Okay, so that I have kept for next session. Okay, so let me explain for uh, numerical value so that your concept should be like uh, a basic should be very strong, right? So before jumping directly to mix like categorical and numerical data and then you get confused. Okay, so that's why let's start with numerical value, slowly build the concept and go towards the mixed kind of data that is a numerical, categorical and all those sort of, okay? So let's uh, uh, get back the focus here. So now we have uh, this uh, feature value uh, bar line. So that's where like this uh, red denotes the high numerical value and uh, blue denotes the low numerical value. And this is the log of odds. And now here it, these features are sorted based on their importance on predictive power. Okay, this we understood. Now what about this, how to read these dots? So one more thing guys here, every dot denotes the one record in your uh, data set. Okay, so for example, if I print here X train, Okay, so let me print the head so that we can see only the first five records. Okay, so one records means one row here. Okay, so like this. So every dot here denotes one record. And here if we for a moment, if we just talk about magnesium. Okay, so for magnesium, you see like red. Uh, so this dark red one means higher uh, numerical value for magnesium. And this blue one means uh, lowest, like uh, lesser values for magnesium. Okay, so what it is telling basically. So, uh, and then it, this reason, this right side reason in X axis having high log of hearts. It means as uh, uh, numerical value of magnesium is increasing, this log of odd is increasing. And log of it is or is increasing means probability is increasing. A probability is increasing means model is predicting with high probability of uh, this uh, uh, record being class one. Okay. So for example, if you just focus for this dot, okay, this dot only. So with respect to this dot there, uh, so it is really denoting, uh, suppose it is denoting this first record. Okay. So let's assume. Okay. So this is the uh, magnesium value 3.61 here. Okay. For this. And with respect to this, there will be other values for aluminum, silicon, potassium, calcium, barium, all those things. Okay, sodium, refractive index, all those things. So with respect to this magnesium value, there will be other data points with respect to these values. Okay, these properties, features. Okay, so that's where, so here if we increase the magnesium value, then uh, probability of belonging to class one will increase because log of odd is increasing. But as soon as we are decreasing the magnesium value, probability is reducing. It means it will not belong to class one, but it will belong to class zero means not window based. Okay, so for window based class, magnesium property should be high. Magnesium value should be high. That's what this data set is denoting. Okay, telling you and this feature important. Okay, and now coming to aluminum. Now, aluminum, what it is telling basically from this plot, how it looks like because these red uh, dots are denoting the high uh, aluminum value and this blue dot denoting the low aluminum value. But here, low aluminum values are falling in this region where we have a high log of odds. It means low aluminum values are uh, predicting high probability for belonging to class one. That is a, a window based class. Okay. So that's where aluminum value is inversely proportional to uh, glass type, uh, windows based glass, okay? If there is a less aluminum value, it means it is a window based glass. If it is high aluminum value, it means non-window based glass, okay? That's how we can interpret this. And then uh, as you go down, okay? So these features are not uh, uh, like uh, impacting much on model performance, means model predictive power, either zero or one, because they are scattered uh, towards uh, near to zero line, okay? Right, but one more thing. So this you understood, okay. But one more, th you might be having a lot of 
doubts what is this purple color okay and what is the density here telling us right on what is this distribution okay so for that let's break down here so the very uh, like how you can understand it clearly just break down and don't feed the complete training data rather feed a uh, few records okay so whatever i have explained i have just summarized so you can go through later okay or you can pause the video just read this okay and if you have any doubt just uh, put uh, in the like uh, comment section i will reply okay so now let's break down this whole uh, data set into a smaller record and try to understand again okay so so let me print the uh, sap values for first five records and then um, we can predict so here we can predict for first five records as well so what it is predicting so two records are predicted as non windows and three records are predicted as windows okay so we'll see there as well so now uh, we'll you can see the data for that five records that's fine and now let's uh, do the same thing we uh, um, plot the summary plot for first five records okay it index start with the uh, zero okay so let me print it sorry plot it Okay, so now this is how it looks like for first five records. Now you see here, if you just, so guys, one more thing. Here, uh, the this sorting order might change because see, in overall uh, prediction, so this is kind of, you can say global prediction, okay? And when we start predicting for one record, then it is it becomes local prediction, okay? So for overall prediction, so these features might behave differently for few records, like locally, these uh, behave differently. So for example, calcium, so one, two, three, four, five. calcium position is fifth here, but here, what is the position? One, two, three, four, here it is fourth from top, right? So that's where for these five records, calcium is uh, in terms of feature importance, fifth place, okay? That's this mean. And now let's understand this, again, starting from top magnesium. So magnesium is like uh, impacting the model predictive power towards uh, one very highly. Okay, so if uh, magnesium values are high, then it is Windows based class. If it is low, then it is non Windows based class. Now you can just correlate with this. So here you see it is predicting two as a non window based and three as a window based. So now you see here three uh, magnesium values are very high and two are less. Here you see 3.6, 3.9, 3.5. These three values are very high, right? So that's why they are coming here. And with respect to that, and uh, there's uh, uh, this uh, log of odds are getting changed because log of odds is also related with other uh, properties, right? Other features. That's why it slightly vary. So now here, uh, the, there are three three records which are telling, okay, this is window based class because this right side log of odds is high. And two are telling this is non window based class, and that's how it is predicting. So you can easily understand like which value is uh, predicting what like positive class or negative class. And similarly, you can understand like for sodium. Sodium, uh, let's see a sodium, focus values on sodium. So here we have 12, 14, 14, 13, 13, okay. So here like um, sodium here, they are like uh, scattered in here and here, okay. So uh, some values are here and some values are here. As I said, so here if you see this one, so sodium is like uh, uh, behaving inversely proportional. So for example, less values of sodium are uh, saying it is a window based class. And if you increase the sodium values, so because red means high sodium values, if you're increasing the sodium values, so log of odd is decreasing, it means it is a uh, non window based class, okay, based on this threshold. So that's how you read. And then based on aluminum, so aluminum, like all fives are different. So this will be very good to explain, okay, for understanding purpose. So let's focus on aluminum here. So aluminum, if you see, so here, uh, where is aluminum? Here, one, 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 and two. So this is the highest value of aluminum, right? 2.38. So 2.38, you can see this is the red means highest value, okay? So red, this is 2.38. And what is the least value? This is 0 0.82. So this is blue means the least value, okay? So this is, this is 0 0.82. Okay, and then these three values will fall like 1.54, 1.62, and 1.41. Okay, so these these are these three values. Okay, and as like uh, it is uh, going above this blue, blue is 0 0.82. As it is going above, so it, this uh, color will go slightly towards red. Okay, purple then red. Okay, so that's why these three values are here. And now you see here. So as I said here also, aluminium is inversely proportional, right? So uh, less value of aluminium means uh, window-based class. So here again, if uh, it it has like uh, uh, less value means 0 0.81, uh, uh, 
okay it is predicting like it is a window based class and the moment you start increasing aluminium values so towards red okay so i'm not going to tell us telling you to go to x axis i'm just like towards red i'm going okay so this and this and this and this and this so the moment you go towards red means higher aluminium values its predictive power of probability of belonging to class 1 is reducing means log of odd is reducing right a probability of uh, it belonging to class 1 means window based class is reducing it means it is non window based class right so that's how you can uh, identify this let's uh, for a moment also identify like iron because these two are collapsing with each other okay so it will give you more clear idea so if you go to uh, iron where is iron this fe okay so we have these five values of iron okay so five values if you see here so this blue one so which is the least values 0 0.00 so this is 0 and then 0 0.09 these two and then uh, sorry this is 0 0.03 okay so 0 0.00 then 0 0.03 then 0 0.09 then 1 then 2 right so here uh, fe iron so this could be 0 0.00, then 0 0.03, and then um, 0 0.09 somewhere here. Uh, it could be this one as well, okay? Uh, but here uh, behind one more uh, purple is there, okay? This one, and then this red one is 0 0.26, and this will be 0 0.1. Okay, so that's how you can read. But see, you can see if you for a moment you forget about this red one, but you just focus on behind this purple one. So that is also purple, and this is also purple. How you can see like uh, um, which one is zero point one and which one is zero point zero nine? Okay, and how come red is in between? Red should be this side. Okay, so that's where guys, this is very good use case to understand. Here, what will happen? See. It's not always like uh, red will be one side and blue will be one side and uh, purple will be in between. It's not like that because they are relative. So because iron, so iron and predictive power is also depending on other variable. Okay, so for that particular record, how this is uh, behaving. Okay, so that's where this red becomes in between. Okay, so for that, for this particular record uh, related to other one, it is predicting like a class one that is a window based class. Okay, but this red one, this this predictive power is less because this log of odd is less compared to this purple one. Okay, so that's how basically you can read and then um, you can just um, play around this. So let me show you one more use case basically guys. If I just say uh, print only one record okay i plot only one record then it will be always blue because see red and blue will come in picture if one value is less and other value is uh, high large then only red and blue the both color will uh, you will see if there is only one record then only one color will be there so it is uh, by default it is producing uh, blue one okay if i see uh, two okay so i'm just printing summary plot for two records then you will see there will be two colors so for magnesium also two colors, for sodium also two colors, for calcium also two colors, because there are two records, right? For every property, there, is, there are two records. One will be low, one will be hall, a high, sorry. So that's where um, uh, blue and uh, red, the moment you start having more than two records, okay? So that's where you will see uh, the change in, like so one record will fall somewhere here in purple. Now you see here. So we have three values, blue, red, and in between uh, this uh, purple one. So that's it. Don't get confused with respect to X axis. In X axis, we have log of odds. With color only, you just identify uh, the numerical value larger or smaller. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. Okay, so that's how basically uh, you can understand or interpret how to uh, interpret the uh, Sapley value, Sapley summary plot. So, guys, one more thing. Now, I'm leaving you with one question. Suppose here we have a categorical variable. So in case of categorical variable, this feature value will not increase or decrease because it has a certain fixed categories, right? But still, a sapply summary plot can be plotted for that categorical variable, okay? So, that I'm going to discuss in next videos, okay? So, wait till there. And uh, I hope uh, now you have a fair idea of about uh, how summary plot can be interpreted. And I will just suggest just play around by changing these values and uh, looking into the sam sap Sapley values, okay, and how this plot behaves, okay. And then the moment uh, you uh, start uh, printing everything, okay, whole record, then it will look like, like this, okay. And this density is nothing but like uh, the more records are falling in this area, okay. So that's all about uh, uh, this uh, uh, explanation. 
hope you liked it and if yes please don't forget to subscribe my channel that's how you can support me and share with your com with ml community okay so thank you and next video i'm going to explain the categorical features thank you